Here at Your Body On, you've been struck by lightning, swallowed by an anaconda, and tried skateboarding without training. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. How much pain can the human body take? What are the most painful experiences? This is Your Body On, the five most painful experiences. Pain can stem from a bad breakup, a harsh insult. Where did you get those clothes? At the toilet store? Or a stale French loaf. It's your body's way of telling you that something is wrong. We have sort of a problem here. Everyone has a personal pain threshold and experiences it differently. God, that hurt a little, but I'm all right. But let us walk you through some events guaranteed to even make the Hulk hurt. No pain, no gain. Pain don't hurt. Number five, childbirth. The miracle of childbirth is an incredible <laughs> experience that can cause parents over 18 years of pain. However, the majority of it occurs on the due date itself. As you go into labor, I'm going into labor. The pain starts as your uterine muscles begin to contract and the pressure against your cervix builds. This is the longest stage of labor and can last up to 19 hours. Wow. The whole time, you feel pain in your abdomen, groin, and back, and it is starting to spread to your thighs and sides. As the process continues, it only gets worse. Women have compared labor to having their internal organs pulled out, being stabbed in the stomach, and having their hips pulled apart. No, I'm gonna split in two. So next time you see your mom, thank her. Number four, trauma. You've been shot. You have an entry and exit wound and immediately feel severe pain. I gotta get him to the hospital. The degree of the injury is dependent on the size of the bullet, your distance away from the firearm, and the affected body part. When the bullet penetrated your skin, it broke into fragments that inflicted additional damage to your bones and organs. This could leave you in agony for months and require multiple surgeries. Although you will eventually heal, the emotional pain could last a lifetime. Number three, shingles. Shingles are known as the deluxe version of chickenpox. I thought it was chickenpox, but I've never seen it as bad as this. After recovering from chickenpox, the virus stays dormant within your brain and spinal cord and reactivates later on as shingles. One in every three people who had chickenpox will develop shingles later in life. Unfortunately for you, you're one of them. Maybe I should have stayed home today. The symptoms include a cluster of rashes, blisters, and scabs, causing severe pain and burning in the torso, neck, and face. I have pox between my butt cheeks. You may even develop a more severe version called postherpetic neuralgia. This causes intense pain that continues even after your rashes have disappeared. It will also make your skin so sensitive that you may not even be able to stand clothing. A typical shingles breakout can last up to five weeks, but if it still hasn't gone away after three months, it may be permanent. Number two, major joint osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis happens when the cartilage between your joints wears down. This cartilage absorbs shock and reduces the friction between bones. The heavier you are, the more strain is applied to the joints and the more painful it will become as the cartilage wears down. Once bones start rubbing against each other, the pain can get so bad that you simply can't move. Can't move. I hope you didn't intend to skip rope this weekend. Number one, kidney stones. Kidney stones are calcium pellets that form in your kidney and ultimately end up being passed through urination. Pass your stone yet? Not yet. As it grows, a stone can block your urine, leading to swelling and sharp pains in your mid-back, abdomen, and sides. You may also suffer from vomiting, fever, and bloody urine. Are you okay? The largest recorded kidney stone was 13 centimeters or 6 inches. How would that feel passing through your, um, system? To reinforce just how painful these can be, a recent study found that 63.3% of women who have given birth and had kidney stones considered the stones to be more painful. What happened? I think I'm giving birth. But how would that pain compare to getting your butt whooped by Bruce Lee? We'll kick into that on another episode of Your Body On.